And as the flood water is slowly receding, the high water uh, is keeping rescue crews from making it here to Beaumont. Reporter Imani Payne from our sister station in Waco is live off State Highway 105 in Batson, where some of those crews are stalled for the night. Imani, what's the situation there this evening? Kevin and Erica, Highway 105 is completely blocked here in Batson and first responders have been here for hours just trying to turn people around. That's because there's a bridge right over this way that leads to Beaumont, but fire and police officers say it's completely flooded and impassable. Now, if we spin around over here, a local church has set up a shelter operation for anyone that's stranded. You can see all these trailers out front. Many belong to men who were making their way to you guys to help with water rescues. But just like us, they got stuck. There's nowhere for them to go. And DPS troopers are stopping folks on the highway, too. So volunteers who are hoping to help and are getting stranded here aren't really sure what to do next. And joining me now live is Brian Sumrall with the Batson Volunteer Fire Department. And Brian, you say it's actually a good thing people are getting stuck here because the roads are just too dangerous to drive. Yes, ma'am. Uh, as it is tonight, a lot of people are trying to travel from out of area. They're uh, unfamiliar with the roads, hitting some low water, ending up in a ditch and needing to call us. It's better after darkness falls on these roads currently. Shelter in place in one of these small towns. There's a lot of shelters open. Take refuge there and try again the next day. Have you had to rescue anyone? We've affected about 24 stalled vehicles, swift water type rescues with the help of the surrounding community and their boats, as well as folks outside of here, probably twice that many welfare checks, EMS that needed to be evacuated to an ER or something like that. Uh, also probably uh, with the local cowboys and uh, ranchers, we were able to help move 14 head of horses out of high water near the bridge and uh, probably move 200 head of cattle to higher ground yesterday due to locals with their boats. But it sounds like if people are making their way this way, the church shelter is the best option. Yes, ma'am. Okay, sure well, thank you so much, Brian. I'll let you get back to your work. You. Uh, something else I want to note, guys, there is no water here in Batson right now. The town is completely out of water, but um, some folks over here at the convenience store are doing everything they can to help people in need and providing the limited resources they have available. So uh, we'll go ahead and bring you guys any updates as they become available. For now, we're live in Batson. Imani Payne, back to you.